Jane here. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Um, so this video is going to be about how to create mock-up photos in Canva. Now, one of my first few videos, actually two videos that I made a long time ago on this channel were about how to create mock-ups with iPicky and how to create mock-ups with Photopea. And I don't like either of those. I honestly like only use Canva at this point. So I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to create a mock-up on Canva. And I'm also gonna teach you guys how to use smart mock-ups in Canva if you have no idea what that is. So if you liked today's video, make sure to give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button below and leave any comments, questions or suggestions um, in the comment box below for me and I'll do my best to answer anything that y'all have for me. Also, I don't know if I said this earlier or not, I'm using a free version of Canva. I had it pulled up for some other things, so we'll go ahead and stick with it. Um, for this tutorial, you do not need Canva Pro, but if you're serious about taking your designs to the next level, then definitely invest in Canva Pro. Um, I have a free 30-day trial in my description box, so if you click on that link, you get a free 30-day trial. Um, so make sure to check that out if that's something that you are interested in. So with that being said, we will go ahead and start with a mock-up tutorial. So anytime I've created mock-ups, it's been to use as like an Etsy listing photo. I actually used to sell um, some like printable wall art on Etsy and I had to create the mock-ups using Canva. So this is something that I'm really familiar with and that's actually really easy to make, believe it or not. So if you are making a mock-up for Etsy, you would go over here to create a design and I always do 2000 by 2000 pixels. So we're gonna do create a new design and this is what the screen is going to look like. What we're gonna do now is we're going to upload whatever picture um, you want to put your photo into. You can find some like stock photos for your mock-up photos on Creative Market. Um, about two years ago, I bought a really big selection of mock-up photos. So we will do that. So if I can figure out where these things went. Um, let's see, purchase mock-up photos. Here we go. Actually, this is a good one, I think. No, we'll just do this one. Okay, so in Canva, you can only upload JPEGs and PNGs. I don't know if I've talked about this in any videos before, but we're gonna go over this now. PSD is just for Photoshop or PhotoP. Um, JPEG or PNG, that's gonna work for Canva, so we'll just hit JPEG right here, and I'm just gonna drag and drop this into uploads and we'll see what comes up. It's been a very long time since I've seen any of these mock-up photos, so we'll see how this one turns out. All right, so here is the mock-up photo. So all I did was just drag the corner so that it fits this 2000 by 2000 pixels. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna place our quote or whatever you're trying to put um, whatever wall art or art you've got inside this picture right here. You'll want to make sure that it's either an SVG file or a transparent PNG. Um, I do have a video, um, I'll link it up here about how to make a transparent PNG if you do not have Canva Pro. Um, it's super easy to do if you have Canva Pro, but if you're one of the people who don't want to invest in it, um, I do have an alternative option, so make sure to check that out. But I'll go ahead and use a transparent PNG. So I'm gonna go back to my Dropbox here. And we're just going to pull up um, pre-made Instagram quotes, and I'm going to do PNG. So we're just gonna drag and drop this one into here. And now all we're gonna do you can drag it and drop it, or you can just click on it. And at this point, you just need to resize it. And I think that actually looks pretty good. 
So it's really as simple as that to make a mock-up photo. Um, and the reason you want to use a PNG file, a transparent PNG file, is because if you use a JPEG, I will show you what this looks like. When you save a JPEG, there's a white background that shows up around it. And this is not white. It looks white, but it's not. And here we go. So that's what that looks like if you have the white background around it. You can see the white square versus this paper. So um, make sure you use a transparent PNG if you want to do this. Now, another way to do a mock-up on Canva is to use the smart mock-up feature. So this is something that I recently learned about when it comes to Canva. Um, so to access the smart mock-ups, we're just gonna use, actually, I'm gonna use this picture, this picture of my cat. So this is Mr. Bandit. He is my, well, he is our oldest cat. He is 11 years old and he is super pretty. All right, so once you have your picture up that you wanna put on a mock-up, you wanna go up here to edit image and there are lots of different options. So you can adjust this picture, make it brighter. You can put a filter on it, do all kinds of stuff with it. But what we're gonna do is go to smart mock-ups and we're gonna hit see all. So once you hit see all, if you've, you, well, there's some popular ones up here, or you can go down to smartphones. If you keep scrolling, we've got computers, let's see, business cards, frames and posters, kind of like the one we just worked on. We got books, we got t-shirts, you name it, it's pretty much on the smart mock-up. And this is an awesome feature that Canva has. Again, you don't have to have Canva Pro for this. I'm using a free version. As you can see, it says try Canva Pro. Um, but yeah, I mean, you, you really have a lot of options when it comes to Canva smart mockups. So since this picture is like already kind of tall, we'll just use one of these phones. So let's go to this one. So all you're going to do is just find a mockup that you like and you're going to click on it. And it takes a minute to load, but then once it loads, you're going to hit apply and you can drag it to where it fits in that photo. Well, maybe, maybe not. It did this with me earlier, but we'll try. We'll try it again with a different one. So we'll go back to smart mockups and we'll try, we'll try this picture <laughs> of the yoga girl. She's looking at the picture of Bandit. So here we go. And we're just gonna make it bigger slowly so it doesn't go crazy again. And there we go. So if you want to put, you know, another picture like this in it, I'm gonna go and delete that. Um, we can just hit this picture and it's going to be the same thing. Now, I don't know how good this will look, but um, let's say you made like this quote right here and you want to put this on like a t-shirt and this is the one with a transparent background. I'll change this so you can see. So it's got the transparent background. It doesn't have the white square around it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to edit image, smart mockups, and you can use... Let's use, let's use this sweatshirt. That's cute. I like sweatshirts. Even though I live in Florida and you literally don't need sweatshirts. So, okay. So that looks pretty terrible to be honest, but if you play around with it, it's pretty easy to figure out. Okay, there it goes again. You gotta make, you gotta make it bigger really slow or else it does this whole thing which I don't understand, but it's whatever. 
So yeah, that is how you can upload your own stock photos into Canva and create mockups, or you can use the smart mockups feature and create your own. Um, so if you've got any questions or any suggestions, make sure to leave those below. Also make sure to try out Canva Pro if you're interested. And I hope to see you guys again soon.